Yeah. Whoa! You know what? Somebody, here, I'm going to address this right now. Somebody recently said in our comments, why do you always smell? I shouldn't. I'm not making it. <laughs> Welcome back to Love and Junk Food. I'm Laura. I'm John. And today we have another edition of Three Random Things. What? what? <laughs> this is Three Random Things from Dollar Tree. Which Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree, you can almost always film a Three Random Things. They are king of random things, right? Yes, they are. Uh, a couple of brands I recognize. And a couple um, we don't. And one I don't. So I'll start. <laughs> All this right. Brand knows their stuff. Tillamook. We love Tillamook cheese. They have those big shreds. Oh, I I really enjoy Tillamook. Tillamook also makes ice cream. Yeah. And they also apparently make like little meat treats. So we're gonna try those. Yes. On my end here, these are Tropical Fields crispy coconut rolls. I don't know what to think about those. They kind of look like those little pirouette cookies. Yeah, kind we'll of. We'll see what we think. And then this is so interesting. Is it going to be good? Is it going to be bad? I don't know. We have tried little squeezy candy in some of our international snack boxes before. And sometimes we really like sometimes it. Sometimes it's good. Mostly by we, I mean me. This isn't usually John's favorite, you know, kind of a thing. But this is Smarties. Our kind of Smarties. Um, American Smarties. Um, squeeze tube. So squeeze gel. Is it, yeah, I, I don't know what to think. I <laughs> I don't know what to think. We'll we'll let you know when we get there. So we've got to start with meat, right? Let's start with meat. <laughs> All right, Tillamook Country Smoker. It says Chop House Bites, and these are Hawaiian style teriyaki. And it says at the top, made with real pineapple. It doesn't say anything about real meat. It just says real pineapple. <laughs> I can smell it when I opened it. Ooh. Ooh. I can like tell what it tastes like. Smell it. Yeah, it's I can like taste it by smelling it. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Somebody Here, I'm going to address this right now. Somebody recently said in our comments, Why do you always smell? I shouldn't. I'm not making it. <laughs> Sorry, I had something in my throat. They said, why do you always smell food before you eat it? It's part of the experience. You kind of know what to expect a little bit, sometimes, not right. always. And recently, I saw this water bottle advertised on TikTok, Instagram, somewhere, where there's like a ring around the top of the water bottle. So when you go to drink yeah you get smell and there's no and flavor and it changes the flavor there's, of the water there's no flavor in yeah. it whatsoever so you're just drinking water but because you're smelling watermelon smelling blueberries smelling whatever i so badly want to try that i so 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 badly if you remember yeah. the name of that let me know because i want to try it yeah they did scientists have determined that um scent like the smell uh affects your taste so much and i think they found that out in like i don't know 1732 or something like that <laughs> it was a while ago this smells like bacon doesn't it bacon cheers it does that's yummy i'd rather have that than a meat stick any day mm -hmm. that's good yeah that's all right i can taste the um Teriyaki, I can taste the pineapple mm -hmm. on it. Um, so as far as like the Hawaiian flavor, I get that. The texture seems a little off to the me. The texture is a little... But you're going to get that in like a lot of these type of meat chunks. Here's my knock. Here's the entire container. Ah, that's it. Including what we already ate. Ah, for $1.25. That's my, that's my knock. But Tillamook is a... It's a big brand. A big brand, well-received, higher-end brand, mm -hmm. right? Um, so I think it's okay, but um, sixty—is that what I saw? Sixty calories. In the um, yeah, the texture seems a little odd to me. It's like a—it seems like a pressed kind of 
pork product maybe. Um, like when I was in the military, some of the meat that we would get in those pouches and the MREs are kind of similar to this. Um, but the flavor is great. So yeah, I yeah. Like it. I like it. Worth $1.25? Mm, that's kind of a stretch. Mm -hmm. It's okay. The, the flavor's okay. I, I, don't, I don't think I would buy it again for me. Like, we're going on a road trip. I want a snack. I don't think I would get that. I think I would get a meat stick or something where you yeah. get a little bit more for yeah. $1.25 and a little bit more to eat for 60 calories, but the flavor and everything is fine. It's all right. Exactly. Okay, let's do coconut rolls. I think that is next. That's going to sure. be a man. I'm going to leave to brush my teeth when we're done. We're eating smoked Hawaiian teriyaki meat, coconut cookies, or whatever these are, and then I mean, candy gel. It's in a tube. You can just put it on your tooth. I'll brush my teeth with that right here. Brush. Right here now. All right. Here you go. Thanks. Um, so they're not filled in any sort of way. In zero sort of way there. It's just little coconut. Cheers. Flavored tubes, I guess? Yep. I love it. It doesn't need the filling. It does not need the filling, but you know what it needs? Ice cream. Don't you oh. think that'd be really good with ice cream? That would be really good with ice cream. Uh -huh. Yeah, I love the crunch of it. They're very light. Yeah, um, it's got um, sweetness to it. Filled up to here too. That's now that's a deal for a dollar mm -hmm. twenty-five. That's mm -hmm. a deal. Two servings in the container for a hundred and fifty cal so three hundred calories in the whole thing. I don't know that I could sit and eat the whole thing. A couple and I'm satisfied. I'm sure that's a challenge John would accept. These are decent. Way to go, whoever you are. Tropical field. Tropical fields. Okay. I have I meat like pieces and coconut bits and all right. Safety seal. Got to get that out there. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no. Don't you know you're supposed to put no. it up to your lips and you get all that <laughs> spit all over it? No. We're never sharing candy again. <laughs> all red. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! Very sugary. Very sugary. You know what that reminds me of? Put in some in your mouth. Hawaiian punch. It does have like a fruit punch. Maybe not yeah. Hawaiian punch, but it has a fruit punch vibe to it. It does. Fruit punch flavor. I hate um, to say it, but I really like it. I'm sticky already and I hate that. <laughs> I like the flavor of it. I don't like the form, the gel tube type thing. Uh. I think it tastes fine. I just can't imagine a world. Hey, babe, let's watch a movie and eat a snack. And I'm going to sit there and like suck on a tube of something or put it on my finger. And like I said, my hands are already sticky. Yeah. So I don't get this. But what, guess, do we live in space? But guess what? This wasn't made for me. You know, this yeah. is made for kids. Will kids like it? Well, Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely kids will like it. Sure. I would like Very it if I had sugary. gloves on. <laughs> if uh, you want some kid bounce it off the walls, give them this tube and let them run around. Holy moly, yeah. A hundred calories. How many servings per container? I'm looking. Serving uh, size, one thimble. <laughs> you want me to look at that? No. There's, <laughs> I had to get to the sweet spot. They're saying... This is two servings, and each serving is 100 calories. I don't understand how you could, I mean, kids I'm sure could, but I don't know how you could just eat half a tube of that as a serving. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm going to try it tonight and see if I get sick. <laughs> you go ahead. I'm going to bed. You can stay up all night doing whatever, shadow boxing or whatever you do when you get all hopped up on a tube of squeezy candy. <laughs> uh, so I so. would, 
As much as I love this company, I'm gonna get their ice cream forever and ever and ever again, and their cheese. Mm -hmm. Probably not gonna get this again. But they did have other things. I'm interested to see, like they have actual jerky and meat sticks and things that aren't these chop house bites. Yes. I'm interested in trying those. This I wouldn't get again. Yeah. This, fun to try. There's nothing about it that says Smarties to me. It's just sugar in a tube. If you like that kind of thing, you'll like this. The flavor is decent. Is it worth a dollar and a quarter? Yes, because I bet you go to five below and this thing is like three bucks, right? So yeah, that one's fine. That's worth a dollar and a quarter all day. Some It's a little known brand, at least to us. Made in Thailand. Those are great. Yeah, these are delicious. They're about eight serving. I'm sorry, two servings per container. You already said this stuff. Didn't <laughs> I was you? gonna say eight servings. <laughs> it says eight pieces. Two yeah. servings per container. Yeah, I about did say eight that. Eight pieces. Yeah. Um, I would get this all day. It's it's great. The price is right, and it's delicious. I'm gonna rate these a six because of the texture, flavor, and everything's on Good. point. Yeah. But Tillamook ice cream and Tillamook cheese, nine, ten, all day. They're Tillamook is a huge company. This compared to other, you know, like novelty candy, I would say it's fine. It's probably like a six as far as flavor goes and whatever, right. but I wouldn't buy it again because of the things I already said. Um, I probably wouldn't choose that if we're standing at the candy aisle and we are each picking something. I probably wouldn't choose that for me, but I would choose it for you and I think it's fine and I like it. I'm going to rate that one like a seven. Okay. Um, I'm going to give this an eight. The Tillamook, I agree with you on my six. Um, the flavor is great, but it's just, I don't like that texture. Mm -hmm. um, and then, I don't know. I, I really do like the flavor of that. Mm -hmm. It doesn't say Smarties to me like you said, though. And it does just come off as sugar and that gel. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. I'm going to say seven. Okay. There you go. Let us know if you have seen or tried any of these things or what you have seen or tried from the Dollar Tree that you want to see us try next. We also have some seasonal snacks coming up from there. And now that the kitchen is put back together, almost, we have just a couple of things to get. Yeah. Jack, your cooking from the Dollar Tree budget meal is coming. Everything's already <laughs> purchased. So be looking for that. Uh, soon. We love the Dollar Tree. We're there all the time. So uh, now if you love the Dollar Tree or Tillamook, Smarties, Coconut Rolls, us, or the video, give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps our channel grow when you do that. Yep. That's all we have for today. That's it, guys. See you next time. Bye.